Hey guys, get level here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make easy Twitch emotes without Photoshop. If you have Photoshop and you wanna know how to make emotes, don't worry, I got a video on that, and there will be a link towards the end of the video. So I already made a video on how to make Twitch emotes, but apparently the program, the free program that I was using changed and people wanted an update. So we're gonna re-download it, we're gonna reinstall it, and I'm gonna walk you through it. So it's gonna be super fast, super easy. My goal is to teach you a way that you can make emotes in like five minutes. We are going to be doing face emotes, and if you're wondering, why or if you don't want to have face emotes keep in mind that face emotes are actually the most used emotes on the whole platform i know that everyone likes to have the little chibi characters but actually uh turns out twitch viewers mostly use face emotes so consider that so okay let's just jump right into it i need to stop saying that this is philip defranco's phrase so i'm gonna go to my trusty google and i'm gonna type paint that net okay warren paint paint.net this is not what we wanted okay it's not warren paint <laughs> so it's get paint.net so we're gonna click here we're gonna find the download up there and we're gonna download for windows i'm gonna click here and then here in my old video, a lot of you have been saying, why don't you use GIMP? Obviously, you can also do the exact same things that I'm gonna show here with GIMP. The reason why I choose paint.net is because this is a way smaller program with less options, so it's less intimidating for newcomers, for, for new people. Also, when it comes to size, the initial setup file is only seven megabytes. So I just click to open the file. I'm just gonna double click here to install it. If you want to be safe, just uncompress it and then install it, like put it in a folder and then install it. Now we click finish, make sure this is ticked, start paint.net. So apparently this is all new, I've never used this before, but I'm guessing it's not going to be hard. Now the first information that we need to know is the sizes that we're going to be exporting our emotes as. So I'm going to open up a folder where I already have my emotes just to take a look. This is one of my current emotes and as you can see the size is 112. 56 and then 28 that means that every single emote needs to be exported in those three sizes now paint.net already gave us a canvas and i don't even know what this is but it doesn't seem to be square also keep in mind obviously your emote needs to be square so what i'm going to do is try to open a new canvas and i can make the largest one be 112 by 112. When it comes to the resolution, it can make your file bigger. So if you're having trouble, if your file is too big, you can play around with this. Usually 72 is fine. Since we're making very, very small emotes, it really doesn't matter because everything is going to be pixelated. Everything's going to be very, very small. I'm gonna put this to 72. Uh, print size doesn't matter and I'm gonna print it. Okay, so now I have the canvas for my first emote. Now all I need is a picture of my face. I'm gonna go to my program. This is my DSLR program, SparkleCam. And I'm gonna try pressing the print screen button on my keyboard to see if I can copy a screenshot, basically. I'm gonna make a face. Press it and press Control V. Look at that. So now it's like the image being pasted is larger than the canvas size. What do you want to do? Expand the canvas? No, we don't because the canvas is our perfect size for our larger emote keep canvas size yes so now we have this huge picture that we are going to scale down hold shift to maintain the proportions so it doesn't stretch it so keep doing that until you have yourself an emote that looks nice let's press enter i guess I'm this is the first time I'm using the first the, the new paint by the way. So technically there's nothing wrong with this emote. You could export this in the three sizes and have this as your emote, right? Twitch sometimes requires transparency, just kind of annoying. So we're gonna go around and see how we can achieve that. So we're gonna click the eraser first and see if it's gonna give us a transparent background. I'm gonna zoom in here. Keep in mind that. Emotes are small, okay? They're meant to be used being small. Every time you zoom in on an emote, that is not a problem. If you're like, oh my god, it's pixelated. It's not gonna look pixelated when it's this size in the chat, obviously. 
It's not gonna look blurry when it's this size in your chat. So stop zooming in to your emote. Just zoom in when you have to edit it, but don't be worrying. Don't worry about it being blurry or, or whatever in chat. Okay, so we can erase stuff to reveal transparency. So all I need to figure out is the size of this. Okay. So you can just drag along. It doesn't have to be precise. Once again, it's an emote. 112 by 112 means there's literally 112 by 112 pixel in the image. Don't expect it to be in HD. Your monitor is 1920 by 1080 p or more than that. That's why you can see stuff in HD. This image is not in HD. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really had to explain it to so many people that I want to make it clear. If your emote looks pixelated or blurry, it's fine. Upload it. It's not meant to be zoomed in like that. You never see a Twitch emote on the Twitch website this size, right? Okay, I'm going to stop ranting now. And I'm just going to erase all of that and obviously take your time. I'm not actually going to use this as an emote. Okay, there we go. Let's say we're satisfied with that. Once again, keep in mind, 112 is about this size in real life. <laughs> so let's try to export it now. So let's save as and see what kind of dialog box we get. I'm gonna create its own folder. This would be 112. Okay, so the box we get here for just clicking save as just gives us this and it's pretty much automatic. If you click OK, you should be fine, but it doesn't give us the option to resize anything. So technically our 112 emote is completely fine. It's saved. It's good to go. How do we get other sizes from this emote now? Give me a second and I'll find out. Boom, there you go. Control R, resizes. So easy chat. What's the other size? 56? Okay. 56 by 56. Click OK. Oh look, it's even tinier. But Gail, look, it's so blurry and in 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 pixelated. <laughs> and now we can save as again. Let's click save as. I'm gonna call this one 56. Click OK. Do the same thing. Control R or just resize. Image resize. What's the other one? 18 or 28? 28. So 28 by 28. And then save as. Make sure you're saving as PNG, right? Because that's where you get the transparency and that's one of the formats that Twitch accepts. So this one was the 28. And boom, congratulations, you have your emote. Now let's go to my channel and find out where you can upload it. So once you get to your channel, I probably should have said that before, but you need to be affiliated to have access to emotes in the first place. If you're not affiliated and you're looking to get emotes, I have another video on that. Click top right right now, you should see an eye. Um, if you're on mobile, you won't see it apparently. Go to my channel, click on the magnifying glass, type emotes, and you will find a tutorial on how to get emotes without being affiliated. But right now, we're mostly talking about affiliate. I really should have said that in the beginning of the video. Anyways, you click top right where your name is. You're going to click on dashboard. You're going to go all the way down left. You're going to click affiliate. And then right here under subscriptions, you're going to see emotes. As you can see, I already have my four emotes for now. And right here, normally you should get like boxes and stuff like that. I'm not going to delete any of my emotes just to show you, but hey, you get the idea. And it will ask you for each sizes. So 112, 56, 28. One last thing you need to know is obviously start with the bigger one in order to maintain as much information as possible and then progressively go towards the smaller one. If you start with the smaller one, this is what it will look like in every single size. That's the 28 by 28. And that's pretty much all you need to know about making emotes, well, face emotes at least. Uh, if you're looking for some dope overlays, you can go to gumroad.com slash get level. I will put some social media up there. So gumroad.com slash get level. I have a bunch of free overlay packs. If you play Apex Legends, I actually have two free complete overlay packs there. If you have any more questions, you can follow me on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash level. And we can have like a, a more private conversation, if you will. Not really private because I'm just broadcasting live. But still, if you haven't started streaming yet or you're using a different program, consider downloading Streamlabs OBS. I will have an affiliate link in the description if you download it for free from that link. I'm going to get a little bit of money and charity will also get a bit, little bit of money. A little bit, a bit, a bit. <laughs> but that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Go out there. Make me proud. I will see you guys next time. Get level out.